EMS DAR, Johnston Township Fire Department. As a teenager, Sophia Minor had one goal, to become a paramedic. She wanted to serve and care for the people in her hometown. She was certified as an EMT in 2020 at the age of 19 and began volunteering at several departments to gain as much experience as possible. She quickly earned a reputation for being kind, compassionate, and eager to learn. In 2021, Ms. Minor enrolled in a paramedic program at University Hospitals, Cleveland. A year later, she graduated second in her class. Little did she know then, she would soon be facing one of her most challenging and most personal calls for care, and it wouldn't come from a dispatcher. Ms. Minor was on her way home from work on the evening of November 18th, 2022, when she received a call from her parents. Her grandfather, Martin Williams, had been having trouble breathing all day, but refused to let his wife call for an ambulance. As the hours passed, his condition deteriorated. It got to the point where his family ignored his wishes and called for help. As Ms. Minor pulled into her grandparents' driveway, she was alerted that a crew was on the way, but she knew it would take precious minutes for them to arrive. Ms. Minor went inside the home that she knew so well and found her grandfather in his favorite chair. His skin was gray and she could not palpate a pulse. While the situation was emotional for her, she kept calm and focused on her training. She pulled her grandfather out of his chair and onto the floor to perform CPR and continued until her coworkers, EMT Alex Clark and paramedic Kevin Barchi arrived just over five minutes later. Minor would not step aside. She insisted on treating her grandfather, establishing an IV and riding with him to the hospital, which was 24 miles away. Martin Williams spent nearly two weeks in the ICU before being transferred to the Cleveland Clinic, where he received a pacemaker. A month of skilled rehabilitation followed, and in February, he walked back into the home where he had clinically died three months earlier. He survived because of the rapid, quality care he received from members of the Johnston Township Fire Department, and especially the immediate CPR from his beloved granddaughter, Sophia.